It's time! I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee, ready to make a statement here tonight. As much respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes, there is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. Baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled. He's so dangerous. He's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Assassin. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Good. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles just absurd. And I've got a simulated training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. He's able to slip the left. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Body shot. Oh, he heard a bat with a jab. Fast pace here in the early going. Nice jab. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Keep going with that. Just missed with the elbow there. That punch didn't get through. Great defensive skills on this play.
Works that left hand. A swing and a miss by Lee. Nice slip to avoid the left. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. Nice straight right, Lance. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Front kick to the body is there. Nice work by Lee. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Lee. Ooh, looking to counter with his left hand, but he misses. Just over two minutes now to go. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice crack there. to make good use of this advantage and reach. Oh, nice kick. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Hit that body. Hit that Distance management, one-on-one, another punch lands. Oh, straight punch, it's there again. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, got him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Less than a minute now to go in round one. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, that's a nice strike. And that spinning kick out, it's home up top. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Straight right is there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice counter with the hook shot there by Lee. Final seconds here of round one. Oh. 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 Outstanding back and forth first round. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the fighter with a cut above his eye. It was sustained in that round. Now the cut man comes in. He'll try to earn his money, close it up, and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, 
All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and he's starting to show itself. Great shot blocked by the opponent. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat mouse. You got to play cat mouse. Hit, don't get hit. He does a great job of that. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Misses with the right hand. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Slips the punch. Under three minutes now to go in round two. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Nice block. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Push kick there to the body. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. Really nice left hand there. Under two minutes here to go round two. Nice strike. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. 45 seconds remain in the round. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. 30 seconds to go in round two. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. 20 seconds to go round two. Nice kick to the body. Oh. Two rounds in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. 
All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trying to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter. Better well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Hook attempt now, blocked though by Lee. Nice counter shot there. Well, the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes, and at times in the past, maybe you could say he's been a headhunter, but tonight he has worked the body to great effect, and those are really starting to take their toll. Lee's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Big punch land. Boom. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, nice hand speed as the counter with the right is good. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Keep that pressure. Lee's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Just a slip there. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Swing and a miss by Lee. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, nice overhand left. Out of range with that one. And that's that's the danger in the engagement there. His misses are entertaining. Lands a big elbow there. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, good block there. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, cash money with that left hand count. Oh! Hurt him bad. Under two minutes to go in round three. Ooh! Land Island is how we're doing here. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. <laughs> so he's just oh, he hit him again, bro. Oh, the straight hand lands flush to the body by Lee. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Big reaction as he absorbs yet another body shot, and you see the referee maybe starting to close the distance a little bit. This could be a TKO in short order. I mean, John, we love violence. I mean, that's why we love our job. Oh! Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Lee. Big ground and pound. Lee gets back up. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Serious swelling in and around that left eye. It's starting to close up now. 15 seconds remain in the round. Three rounds. 
Styles, stop, stop, we're now stop, headed stop. to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn. Huge knockdown for him in that round. Outstanding round from Lee. You rock that last round, but you're fine. You're still here right now. This next round, we're going to get... All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. You ready to fight? Ready. Go we on. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test a fighter. It really does test a fighter. He's hurt bad. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. elbow here is blocked. Nice job defensively there. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined, that when he can see swelling like that, he's going to continue to attack. done there as he escapes back to his feet. Back and forth we go. Watch it. Oh, another knockdown! Oh, look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. We might get a stoppage here. Now he's back up. Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, two seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their crap.